After successful abdominal surgery, the Princess of Wales, 42, has returned to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor Great Park with the support of her husband, Prince William, and their three children. She is now on the path to recovery in the comfort of her four-bedroom residence. The intimate setting of Adelaide Cottage, without live-in staff, sees aides commuting to provide necessary assistance. During the princess's 13-day hospital stay at the London Clinic for the abdominal procedure, Prince William stood as a pillar of support. Sources claim that he will continue to care for Kate hand and foot as she recuperates at home, ensuring her well-being before resuming royal duties. In recent days, Prince William has expressed deep frustration and anger over the unfounded speculation surrounding his wife, Princess Catherine, allegedly having an eating disorder. The rumors have gained traction in the wake of the princess's announcement of undergoing abdominal surgery, coupled with her decision to temporarily step back from public engagements until after Easter. The sensitive nature of the speculation has struck a chord with Prince William, particularly due to the painful history his mother, Princess Diana, endured. Diana openly battled bulimia, a serious eating disorder marked by a pattern of binge eating followed by purging. The prince is reportedly incensed by the invasive and baseless nature of the rumors, especially considering the emotional toll such speculations took on his family in the past. It is essential to note that Princess Catherine has never publicly disclosed any struggles with an eating disorder. The palace insider emphasized the importance of respecting the privacy of the royal couple during this time underscoring that such sensitive matters are best left undiscussed by those outside the immediate family circle. The royal family has faced intense scrutiny in the past, and Prince William is keenly aware of the potential harm that unfounded rumors can inflict. In a climate where mental health awareness is paramount, the prince advocates for empathy, understanding, and responsible reporting. Instead of engaging in speculative discussions, he encourages well-wishers to focus on the princess's recovery and extend support during what is undoubtedly a challenging time for the royal couple. As Princess Catherine continues her recovery, it is hoped that the public will respect the boundaries of privacy, allowing the royal family the space and dignity they deserve. Former royal butler, Grant Harold, emphasized the positive impact of Kate's return on their family, bringing back a sense of normality for their children. While the princess's return signals a relief for her family, it doesn't mark the end of her medical care. Royal doctors, along with the aftercare provided by the London Clinic, will closely monitor her recovery. Dedicated physiotherapists will implement a personalized plan, complemented by video checkups at home with nurse specialists. Nate's guidelines for abdominal surgery recovery indicate a gradual return to normal activities, with patients advised to avoid heavy lifting and engage in specific exercises to rebuild strength. The princess is expected to abstain from official duties until after Easter, with Kensington Palace informing her 30 charities about the necessary postponements. Despite being out of the public eye for the next few months, sources insist that the princess will work diligently behind the scenes, especially in her commitment to early childhood initiatives.